Hey guys, it's Blair with Revit Auto, and in this video, we're gonna be doing our follow-up to the LED lights, the Road Shock variant from Harbor Freight. Now, we've installed these on two of our service trucks about two and a half years ago, and we finally have had an awesome update from Harbor Freight. They've made four different lights now. So now we have a six inch flat light instead of just the option of being the three inch pod. We have a 32 inch, a 42 inch, and a 52 inch light bar. And we're gonna go ahead and install all of these light bars onto our tire truck and then do the same aerial photography using our drone to show you the spread pattern and how far each light actually goes here on the farm. So these lights here are identical to the same setup that we had before, where on the ends of them, they have their flood and then they have their beams. And that's gonna give you a really nice spread. So if you look here, it even shows you your beam distance of the 32 being able to go 1,800 feet, the 42 being able to go 2,100 feet, and the 52 inch being able to go 2,800 feet in distance. Now we have the smaller variants, which is the 24, the 12, the 16, and I believe the eight. And we were able to light up almost a 17 acre field. So with this being mounted higher on our tire truck, cause that's an Isuzu box truck, we're gonna be able to seriously light up an entire parking lot, which is fantastic when we are doing tires and service work at night. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get these on the car, but I also wanna show you guys what's happened to our lights on our vans already. So let me start with the worst damaged light. So this light right here had a pipe fall on top of it and it somehow cracked the back side. Go figure, right? Something heavy hits it and it cracks. Now, it still works even though that it has this water protrusion. I have not disassembled this to see if I can clean it and reseal it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shout later on here. But this light is still super bright, even though it's got the condensation of all the lights that we've installed on our vehicles, which is over eight. This is the only one that has condensation, and the one at the back of this was actually backed into by a trailer. This is the smaller LED light, and as you can see here, it's pretty scratched up. What happened is someone backed a trailer in and actually brushed the entire side. And what's funny is that the trailer moved a little bit out of the way and all that was left was just crack, but everything still works. I have it loosely installed here so that when it's in the up position, I can adjust it. But all these lights are still working. And like I said, we only had one light. We've only had one light that has started to condensate. All the other ones are still watertight. These are still the same style light, but you can see that this is your flood pattern and this is your beam pattern. And the larger the lights are, the additional patterns that they're going to have. So you're still gonna have your broad style light on the ends to give you that nice casting on the outside, your beam in the center, and then the same thing on the opposite side. Now, the longer the light is, just the more filaments that they're going to have for each of those things to give you a bigger spread. So instead of me yammering, go ahead, click subscribe, check out our lights, and I'm gonna go install them on my mobile tire truck, and I'm gonna do an aerial photography version of it so you guys can see the spread pattern from bird's eye perspective. I'm Blair with Revit Auto. Thanks for checking in on this update on our Tool Tuesday. As always, gentlemen and ladies, happy motoring.